Hey everyone, this is Robin. Happy Valentine's week. Valentine's Day is one week from tomorrow, so I thought I'd do a very quick video. As promised, I'm going to be cutting a heart and the scallop heart using the Doodle Charms Cricut cartridge, one of my favorite cartridges. It was one of the first ones released, and I use it all the time, so this is a really good cartridge to have on hand. I'm going to be cutting the circle right, I'm sorry, the heart using my pink and this color is from Stampin' Up. And this white is the Georgia Pacific white cardstock from Walmart, very cheap. I don't use it to stamp on, but I do use it for my Cricut cuts and in my projects. It's acid free and it's nice. You get like 125 sheets for $5 at Walmart. So that's a really good price for white cardstock. Okay, the first thing I'm going to cut backspace. I'm going to shift it, cut my heart up here on the top and I want it to be about, this is going to be a simple card, but I'm going to show you a neat technique for it a way to step your project up. So two and a quarter, I think that'll be good. Okay, now I'm going to move my arrow over to the white cardstock and I'm going to hit the heart again. It's going to be the scallop hearts right here, scallop heart. And somebody asked me today, I've got, I have received some emails on the real dial size button. Now notice my real dial size button is not turned on. If I would have turned it on, if I turn it on right now, it's going to make this scallop and the heart, it would make them both exactly two and one quarter inches. So they would not layer. So if you want an item to layer, you need to make sure that your real dial size button is turned off. And I use the paper saver button also. That um, makes it so when the Cricut is cutting, it uses as little space in between as possible. Okay, so I hope that explained the real dial size button. When you're using the paper dolls and the accessories that go with the paper dolls, if you use them with the real dial size button, it's perfect. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my heart and I'm going to stamp it using just a black dye-based ink pad. This one's from Stampin' Up. I'm stamping it with my pink stamper stamps and it says, I love you. So I'm just going to stamp it right in the center. Okay, I'll probably give this card to my husband. Since I have a very special Valentine surprise for him, but I can't tell you about it because he might watch this video. All right, I am going to do some embossing and I am using a Versamark Dazzle stamp pad and I found this at Hobby Lobby. I'd never seen the Dazzle before. This one's frost. It's just a clear embossing watermark pad and it has a little bit of a frost to it. So I'm going to turn my pad upside down and I do have a piece of copy paper, computer paper underneath this folded in half and I'm just going to just ink this right up. Ink it up really good. It looks like I am inking it up really good, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm going to pour my embossing clear. Oops, that's a lot, isn't it? I didn't mean to do that much. Okay. And I'm going to grab my, you can use tweezer bees or whatever. I don't have mine right here next to me. Or you can use your nails. <laughs> whatever you want. Tap off your heart. And if you see that, I have powder all over it. And I am just going to set that aside. I'm going to take my, my powder. This is the way to save your powder so you're not wasting it. And tap it off in here. Ta-da! And you can fold this over and you can use this for just embossing. Okay, now I am going to get my tweezers really quick. Okay, these are tweezer bees and I'm using my heat gun. You cannot do this with a blow dryer. People ask that a lot. And if you watch this, it's going to heat it up and melt it. I just put it in the same spot. I don't circulate it or anything like that. Start with one end. You see it changing colors. Set it aside, let it dry, or let it harden actually, and it just takes a little few seconds. And now I'm going to put this into a project, make it a quick card. Okay, I'm ready to put this card together. The first thing I'm going to do is fold this over. I'm making a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card, so you can still use a standard A2 sized envelope. So the dimensions on this are four and a quarter by eight and a half. And I'm going to fold this over. And set it aside. I'm going to have it open like this to the side. 
set that aside. Now I've decided to pull a green in with this. I like it. It's a deep, rich green, and I think it goes great with the pink. And this kind of even looks red once everything is done on it on the top. All right, so first thing I'm going to do here is take, this is a scallop punch from Stampin' Up. I'm going to just follow it along. And, okay, and, yep. Okay, have my scallop. This is the older punch. Don't really care for it as much, but I use it once in a while. I kind of know how I want it set up. Okay, I'm using this lovely ribbon from Hobby Lobby again, if you've watched my latest videos. I just absolutely love it. And it's two-sided. And it was only $4 for 10 yards. You can't top that, especially when you can get it half off, right? Gotta love Hobby Lobby. Okay, I'm going to use this side. I'm going to have this right up here. Like this. Maybe right there. Fold it over. And tape without cutting my finger like I've been doing on my videos lately. I've been jabbing and poking and prodding. Okay, so I have that set. I'm gonna go ahead and use my oops, I'm gonna go ahead and use my ATG gun. And add it on. And I want this like I said on the side. So I'm probably going to have this over here. Perfect. I love it. And I'm going to take the I love you and put it on my white scallop part. I just almost taped in my nail there. Okay. Put this on here. And this would be an easy valentine to make for somebody in your family or your friends. I'm trying to think. Do I want it up here? I think I want it down here. Okay, I have my dimensionals on here, my pop dot dimensionals. These ones are from Stampin' Up. Set that aside, put it right down here, and I think I'm going to put a little bow in here on the top. I'm going to switch it around like this. Cut it. Now remember there is wire in, this is the wire ribbon that I'm using right here. Okay, so it does have the wire in it, which I'm not sure will be a hindrance. Okay, no, I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out here. I can do it. Okay, yeah, you just kind of twist it and flip it. Awesome. And I sure I cleaned off my scissors, so they're nice and sharp now. Ouch! Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that to you. Because I really, I really did that last week two times. Okay. So I'm going to move this over, if that will work. I want it to be on to the, off to the side just a tad. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you've got a quick and easy card for Valentine's Day. I hope you have a fabulous week. Looking for my girlfriend. Would you help me find her? <laughs> Let me see. Can you help me find my girlfriend? I'm trying to find her. What are you doing with your hair, dude? And I'm blunting my hair a little bit more. Let me see. You're sure handsome. Aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm looking for my girlfriend. Where is she? <laughs> I'm right here. No, where is the real one I'm looking for? Look up. Jeez. Where is the real girlfriend? I don't know. Give the camera a kiss. Where is my girlfriend? <laughs> where is my girlfriend?